Hi beauties, I am really excited about today's video. Um, this is actually a PR haul that we got. Style Vana reached out to us not very long ago. I talked back and forth with them for a little bit and they sent us four really cool products. I have not tried them yet. I wanted to try them first time on a camera for you guys so you guys could see how I feel about the products and how I like them. And so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Um, of course, as like a smaller channel, PR reaching out to us is a really exciting thing for us because it doesn't happen very often. So yeah, I'm really, really psyched. Um, Stylevana is, uh, they're a Korean beauty company. They ship to the US, the UK and Australia. Yes, so uh, US, UK, Australia, you guys all can have stuff shipped to you. I wanted to, uh, I wanna go ahead and show you guys what I got because I'm pretty excited. So they sent me four products. They sent the Chica y Chico One Shot Eyeshadow Palette number one. It's this really cute little six pan eyeshadow palette. Got a lot of really gorgeous neutral colors. A really nice thing if you're looking for like a neutral fall look. Um, and they seem really buttery and beautiful. So I'm really excited to test them out. We'll probably be able to use most of the colors I'm guessing with today's eye look. Um, I'm thinking what I'll probably do is this on the lid. This is a blending shade. This of course to darken up the outer corner. And then I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go in with like a little cut crease and we'll do this really beautiful gold shade and this really nice white shade as a highlight. I'm thinking that this one right here, I'm guessing that will probably be used to darken up this blending shade because I feel like he's gonna be just a touch light for what I'm looking for as like a transition shade. So I think we will be able to use all of them, which I'm excited about because then we get a real a real feel for the palette. Now I know, I know everybody who watches regularly is like, something's different. I don't have my eyebrows on because every day, every time I do this, I always do my eyebrows first. So I have very little makeup on. Uh, I did do like a little bit of color correcting and a little bit of concealer before we jumped on. And that was just to save time. But I got this really cool, um, it's the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow New Number Three in the shade Brown Eyeshadow Pencil. I really like the tip of it. It's got that nice kind of like triangular tip that's nice and thick that should be able to give you that kind of uh, brow fiber appearance rather than just going in and being a little line. So I'm excited about this. And then it does have a nice little spoolie on the end of it as well. And I definitely wanted to show you guys that on camera. And then the last two things we got, we have this, all right, it's in French. We looked up how to pronounce it. I'm prom, we all know I can't pronounce things even in English. So I'm gonna do my damnedest, but it's probably gonna be wrong. I already forgot how to say it, Nikki. I don't even, how do we, how would, what, did, what was it? <laughs> While he's doing that, I'll talk about the other one because I can say this. This is the McQueen New York. Um, it is a lipstick in Air Kiss Lipstick 6G in, oh my God, the name is in Korean. I, I'm not even gonna attempt it, but it's a really pretty nice like corally color. I really like it. And coral was my Nana's favorite color. So I'm, I'm a big fan of all things coral. So what are we, what are we going with? La Biot. La Chateau La Biot. That's the only time I'm saying this, that, that whole video, that's it. That's all you get. Um, so we have that. It is a wine lip tint velvet and it is in the shade Saint Rose. And the lip tint and the lipstick look like they match really well. So what I'll do is I'll do the lip tint first um, as like a little stain and then I'll go over with the lipstick to finish it. So we get to see every product. We get to use them all. We get to try them. Now, if you like any of the products that you see here, uh, you can actually pick them up for 10% off on Stylevana's website. We have our own promo code. It is INF10 Dark Angel. It will be linked in the bio. All the links to, uh, to get to like the specific sites for your country, the US. They sent me links to the US version, the UK and the Australian version. So if you uh, if you want to pick anything up, then definitely feel free to click on the link and use our uh, discount code for a little bit off your purchase. Let's jump into this. I'm very excited. Um, we're gonna start with the brows because I normally do my brows first before I do any sort of like base or anything. So it's very weird for me to have like anything on my face without my brows. I know a lot of people don't do it that way. That's just my system. It always has been. Back from the days when I was first learning how to do my eyebrows and I did it with like just this pencil. That was, that was the only thing I'd ever use. And it was like crude and painful and like they would be red and angry and I would spend like two hours and I would cry and then they would be like 40 inches thick on each side. It was rough. Those days were rough. That's that's just like a, it's just my system. Wow, I really like this a lot. Already it's just done a really nice job of creating like these very separated fiber looks. It really is doing a nice job of mimicking that, that the look of actual brow fibers. I normally use about 12 different products on my brows. I'm just being honest. I'll do a pomade and I'll do like a little tinted mascara 
and I'll do, I'll use, you know, the little pencils and all this stuff just to kind of make the edges and everything that I want. So I'm going to do my damnedest just to use this. And if I have to use a little bit of other product to try and make them look okay, I will just because that's my system. Um, but honestly, this is doing really, really well. Okay. So this, um, because I want to talk about the products too, a little bit more in depthly, um, just because this is like, I'm, I'm really excited about the PR thing. So I'm going to go a little bit more in depth than I do with some of the other stuff. But obviously I still want to have a chat today because I don't want you guys just to be bored watching me do my eyebrows for 45 minutes. So here's what I'm thinking for today's chat to get us excited for, obviously I have my bad ears on. We're in spooktober. It's here. Now 2020 is not the year of celebrating things. It just, just isn't. That being said, doesn't mean you still can't celebrate. So I've been really trying to figure out what to do both for the channel and for ourselves to celebrate Halloween this year. We were hoping to be in the house. That ain't gonna happen. It is what it is. But I mean, the house is progressing. If you guys are interested in an update, it is progressing nicely. Uh, it actually has walls now. Okay, really quickly. Camera had to be turned off uh, because you know, it only lasts 10 minutes, so. Stopped it. I went ahead and finished this eyebrow's general shape. I'll go in and probably touch it up a little bit more when I add concealer and everything, which I'll probably do off camera just because you guys don't care. This is, a, I really like it. I don't often say that I, I feel like I can do a good job creating a full shape eyebrow with just a pencil and I, I didn't, I used just a touch of this Cella, like little spool, uh, not spoolie, a uh, little pomade with the brush under here, just because there's like this weird area where it just is like, uh, always is like a gap. So I did that just to fill it in a little bit, but otherwise it created a really nice shape. It's very easy. I didn't have to press very hard. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of it. I really like it a lot. First product, big success. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do on camera still the other eyebrow just so you guys can see it as well. My, my eyebrow shapes are incredibly different. We stopped the camera. I think I was off the house, but maybe not. More or less, we're not gonna be in the house for Halloween. We gotta figure out what to do. We're obviously not going anywhere for Halloween. Probably not gonna be trick or treaters. So what are we gonna do? So I actually saw a TikTok uh, and these guys had done like a stay at home movie night or whatever, like a Halloween themed and they went to Walmart and they bought snacks and they ordered Chinese takeout and they watched a bunch of horror movies. And I was like, I love it, but I want to take it up a notch. So here's what I'm thinking for Halloween. I haven't taken a day off uh, from work since we went on vacation in February. We went to Disney World because um, we did have season passes for this year. Screw it, I'm gonna take a long weekend for Halloween. So I'm taking off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we are going to start celebrating on Thursday night. Um, and we've got a couple of things planned. We, I wanna watch all the Halloweens, except for the third, um, and the remake Rob Zombie one, because you guys know how I feel about that. I talked about that before. I want to watch all the Final Destinations. There's a couple other movies that I think we're gonna try and watch. Um, there's some that I loved and I enjoy watching. Like I like all of Friday the 13th, so we may try and watch at least some of those. Um, I do enjoy watching like some of the child's play ones and stuff like that. So there's, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna try and hit as many as we can. But I really wanna make sure that we watch all of Halloween and all of Final Destination. In my bedroom, we're gonna make our own fort. We're gonna do pillows and we're gonna do, we, my parents have an air mattress. I think we may get that and like blow it up. And then we're gonna put like the TV under the pillow. I mean, under the under the pillows, that would that would not work. We couldn't see it then. We're gonna put it under blankets and stuff like that and make it feel like a little tent and just like hang out and we'll do like Halloween themed snacks and all that kind of good stuff. And, and yes, I plan on staying there most of the weekend. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find some cause I'm not a huge cocktail person. I'm more of a beer person, but I wanna make like some themed drinks. I want to carve pumpkins. I want to do all the Halloween stuff that I can do sitting on, well, I want to say a couch, but it's not a couch, it's an air, an air mattress. So sitting on an air mattress, I want to do it all. Yeah, you guys watch me do that, pretty much that entire brow. I, I'm going to touch probably them up just a little bit off camera, but I'm going to do concealer. I'm going to go ahead and do foundation and all of that good stuff off camera, just because I don't, I, it's not important to what you guys are watching. It's not why you're watching this today. So I don't want to waste time with it. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll we'll move on to the next set of products. Okay, so uh, now I'm basically where we normally start our videos. Uh, eyebrows are done, my base is done. I did my contouring stuff just with my basic stuff. Um, I'm gonna do the lips now. I will say uh, I was taking some really pretty pictures of the lipstick because it was so gorgeous and I dropped it um, and now it's chunked, but it's really beautiful. So I'm excited about it. So first of all, this looks like a wine bottle 
adorable. I can't really tell if this is gonna be like a matte lipstick or a lip gloss. I think it's gonna be matte. I'm still gonna go with this on the bottom and then the lipstick on top and we're gonna see if that works. Wow, that is really beautiful and really pigmented. If you guys are curious, by the way, um, off camera, I realized I hadn't really checked. Wow, it really does a very nice job of just kind of staining the lips. Um, I realized that I hadn't checked the prices. I, I, everything that I was thinking about with this, I was like, I probably should look at the, the prices. So the eyebrow pencil is currently on sale for $2.40. The lipsticks are like $5 a piece. The eyeshadow palette is on sale for $10. So far, I'm loving the products. Not, I, you guys know I'm never gonna lie to you guys. I'm always gonna give you my honest opinion. I really am enjoying everything I'm using here. I'm kind of tempted to go buy a couple more of the eyeshadow or the eyebrow pencils after we get off because you know how I am with eyebrow pencils and things like that where I buy in bulk and I really love the formula of it. So for $2, I think it's a hell of a steal. It's so interesting. This is so buttery, first of all, and it really is just kind of like going, it's doing a really good job of staying in place. I'm not good at doing lipstick, which is why I don't normally do it on camera. I normally start with lipstick on as well. It's beautiful. I really, I, I'm, I'm loving everything. I really am. I don't know what to say about it other than I'm a huge fan of every, I'm a huge fan of everything that's happening right now. But I think it's um, gonna be a really nice compliment to this little eyeshadow palette, which is what we're gonna jump into now. Let's do it. Oh, pretty. Very light, a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. But really, once again, really nice creamy buttery feeling. I had touched um, the eyeshadows just to get a feel for like their texture uh, while I was doing some PR shots for them the other day. I kind of had gathered that they were gonna be a really creamy, easy to, to use uh, formula. There is a touch of fallout. I find that there's always a little bit of fallout no matter what. Um, even with the best palettes. If I, if I get a palette and there's zero fallout on it, I'm normally really, really jazzed about it because it just doesn't happen often. But yeah, it's really not bad and it's brushing off pretty nicely. But that's the plan for our Halloween. And then of course the day after Halloween, we always get up early and you know, go to Walmart and we buy sale candy. We buy like sale costume pieces for the channel. We just, whatever, it's always 50% off. So we wind up getting a lot of really cool decorations and things like that for next year. Um, and then candy, of course. So that's our plan. That's every, that's all of it, that's that's the gist of it. Is it exciting? Maybe not, but yeah, I've, I'm excited about it. So yeah. so yeah, to me it's exciting. But here's what I, I think you guys might be interested in. The channel, the plan for the channel. What are we doing with the channel? What's happening on, I've, we've done some fall looks, sure. We've talked about fall, I've worn some ears. Okay, yeah, so I already can tell that this, uh, the light shade, the whitest shade up at the top is gonna be just a little bit too light. So I'm gonna go in with that shade that I was kinda not sure, cause it's just a little shimmery, not quite matte. We're gonna just do that. We're just gonna say screw it and we're gonna do that as our transition shade because I think it's necessary. So what is the channel doing? That is the, that is the million dollar question. What are we doing here on Dark Angel Beauty? Last year, I was Wednesday Adams. We didn't film as much as I was hoping to film for, for Halloween. I don't remember why. I think things just got hectic. We filmed some stuff. I painted some some mannequin heads for my work and we did post those. That was kind of cool. That was kind of fun. But uh, yeah, I was like this year I was intending on doing a whole lot more and I just haven't been like super motivated to do a lot of stuff. Um, I think it's just been the whole thing of 2020. That's where, that's where I got. So I said, no, this is your favorite holiday. Enjoy it, you gotta enjoy it. You gotta enjoy this holiday because it is your favorite and this year may not be the greatest, but you know what? You're still here for it and you're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna do Hollow Week on the channel as well. I have come up with seven concepts for videos. We're gonna post them starting Sunday. Um, I'm telling you guys this because I'm holding my damn self to it. Um, I have a lot in the works of it. Do I think that they may turn out perfect? Probably not. What does turn out perfect? But I have really high hopes that I can do some cool stuff with them. Quickly back to the makeup. I really like the first shade. Uh, the white shade's just really neutral, um, a nice kind of lightning shade. I wasn't a huge fan of this. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know why. I felt like it just kind of went in and made it murky. Um, that's okay, it, it happens. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to, uh, well, I'm gonna do my cut crease now. I'll probably do that off camera because you guys don't need to watch that. Um, I'll do that, um, we'll come back and I'll finish up with the palette and then I'll do eyeliner off camera as well. And we'll come back and see how it turns out. Okay, so um, I actually didn't use concealer. I just used a little bit of this matte foundation um, and I felt like it actually did a good job of not completely washing out the color, which is kind of what I was hoping it would do. Um, so I am gonna go in with a gold shimmer now. Uh, we're gonna do that and then we'll do, we'll darken it up with a really dark shade and I'll probably do the dark shade on my under eye as well. 
um, and then we'll do the white shade as a highlight and then I will jump and I will do my my eyeliner and we will see how uh, how everything turned out I'm pretty jazzed about what's happening right now so far all of the colors except and even the one color that I'm not a big fan of it just it's I may have just used it in the wrong spot which is kind of what I'm thinking is happening it just just made it feel murky to me so hollow week yes that is the plan that is what we're doing for the channel I don't I'm I want to keep it a surprise I really thought about it. I was like, could I tell you guys what I'm thinking? Yes, but I, I want it to be like a little bit of a mystery. Like, what are we doing? What's happening here? What, what is she gonna do next? I really like the gold color. It's applying really nicely. I know I've talked about this on the channel before, but shimmers are very challenging sometimes. Like they may look gorgeous and then you try and apply them and they're really patchy and you feel like, oh, should I apply it with a finger or whatever? No, this is doing really well with a brush. It's really not patchy at all. It's very gorgeous. I really like this. All right, that's what we're looking like before the eyeliner and the mascara. I'll be right back and we'll see how the final look. All right, y'all, it's done. I really like it. Even the, even the eyeshadow, I wasn't sure it was gonna come together. I always go off camera after I'm done with the look before we finish out and I just kind of, you know, take my headband out and fix my hair and, and I look at it, not in the bright lights, not with an up close mirror and I say, how do I look? Do I like the way I look? I really love today's look. It's just very classic is the feeling I'm getting. Maybe it's because it's the bold lip with like the soft neutral eyes and the cat eyes. I don't know. I really am a huge fan of it. I love all the products. I, Stylevana, thank you so much for reaching out to us. I'm so glad that you um, you found our channel and you wanted to collab with us. Um, I'm incredibly grateful and I'm, I love these products and I'm gonna continue to love them. So if you guys would like to pick up some of the Stylevana products, then feel free to head down to our uh, description. The link will be provided. Our discount code will be provided there. So you guys can pick up some goodies, shop around and see if you find anything that you like as well. Um, I will say you guys know I'm never gonna lie to you guys. If I didn't like these products, I would be 100% honest with you. And I just think that they're a great quality for a great price, so yeah. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please let me know what you're planning on doing for Halloween. I love Halloween and I'd love to hear what you guys are uh, thinking about doing. So if you like us, subscribe. We're fun. We do, we, we got the Halloween stuff coming up and yeah, so yeah, yeah, do it. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.